many team-based training sessions on hiatus, this is a perfect time for young athletes to change things up and address issues that are commonly overlooked uh, with their team training. Um, one of these is working on the core. And we're not talking about those six pack abs that sit on the surface, but we're really talking about those deep inner muscles that transmit the power in the legs through the rest of the body and are really important for performance and injury prevention. Crunches and sit-ups don't cut it for this. Planks or Pilates-based exercises where those athletes are maintaining neutral alignment do a fabulous job of strengthening those deep core muscles. Balance is another often overlooked area of training for many young athletes but it's really important for agility and performance and helps to prevent ankle sprains, which are the most common cause of injury in young athletes. And like any form of training, training balance should become progressively more difficult. And it's easy for athletes to do this on their own at home. Start with your eyes open and balance on one leg at a time. And when that becomes easy, try it with your eyes closed. And when that becomes easy, try a pillow or couch cushion and balance on that one leg at a time. As your balance improves, it's easy to engage family members. You can even turn it into a game by throwing and catching different objects while remaining balanced on a single leg. Although it's common for balance to be better on one side compared to the other, the goal is really for it to be the same left to right. This is particularly important for anybody who has a previous injury to the knee, the ankle, or the foot, as that loss of balance is really the biggest predictor for additional injury.